we're going to look at some brief instructions of how you can uh, customize and modify uh, the Microsoft templates for publishing to uh, Inventor Publisher 2013. Okay, so we're going to skip straight over to uh, Microsoft Word and we're going to navigate to and find that template and we'll create a copy of it. So if I go to File Open in Word, um, location we want to look in is C, Program Data, Autodesk, and then Inventor Publisher 2013, Templates, and then we have a choice of our PowerPoint or Word template. So we're going to change the Word one. Principle remains the same for the uh, for the PowerPoint template as well. Okay, so we're going to change this text assembly instruction uh, document. In fact, we're going to create a copy of it and modify that one. So if we go to File, Save As, and I'm going to make this my uh, CAD line assembly instructions. Okay, so I'll call this CAD line assembly. Okay, I'm going to save that. I'll just click OK on this uh, message that comes up. And now I can make any changes to this template that I wish. So one thing I could do just right at the start is uh, I could add a add a logo in here, so I'm just going to go into uh, insert picture. Uh, I'll find I'll find my my favourite Cadline logo in here, so I'll just insert a Cadline logo there, and then uh, I can start moving things around if I see fit. Okay, so let's just say I'm gonna I'm gonna change this text here. You know, I can change the format of it and all that kind of thing, nice and easily. Uh, I'll change the size of this. Okay, so if you've got any unwanted lines like this line here, if I just select below and above and drag a box there and right click and click merge cells, that is in fact a table there. So if I click merge cells, this line will disappear. So I'm just customizing this a bit more. I'm going to put in here who the author is and perhaps the release date. So where, however you want to customize this, uh, I'll put me in as the author. Okay, so I'm fine with that. What we've got here is we've just got some text that the user can type in. This isn't being bought in automatically from publisher. But now we're getting to the, the meat of it. So what we've got here is some data that's being bought in automatically from publisher. Now to modify this data such as the snapshot name and snapshot number, so on and so forth, we need to actually enable the developer tab within Microsoft Word. Okay, so to do that, we need to go to the file menu here and go to options. And then if we go to customize ribbon, so we're in Word 2010 here, customize ribbon, what I want to find is the developer tab. So either choose from commands from all tabs here or main tabs and find the developer tab here and then add it. Or if you've got it already in your main tabs here, you can just switch the developer tab on here. Okay, so I've switched my developer tab on, and this will enable me to have access to those commands I need to modify this. Okay, so if I go into my developer tab, and now to click on my design mode here, if I turn that on, then I have access to the um, tags, as they're called, that are being bought through from publisher. Okay, so we're, we're going to just have take a brief look at modifying a few of these. You can delete them as you see fit. So I'm actually not concerned with my storyboard information here at all. I'm going to delete all of this storyboard information by selecting that and deleting all of that. Okay, I'll undo that as well. And what I do want to be brought through is my snapshot number and uh, snapshot name here. Okay, but what I can do is change the text for that. Okay, so for this snapshot number text, I'm going to make this a bit bigger, and I'm going to make this uh, perhaps a well, it's a Calibri text already, but I also want this snapshot name text to be uh, exactly the same. So. I'll just make this Calibri, I'll change the, the 
the color of that and I'll make this the same here okay and then my snapshot description as well will be brought through here and I can change the font I use for this one thing here you, you might have some unwanted lines here I don't want a, a, a separate line here I can use the same trick with the merge here so I can select all this area here with the dividing line and if I right click and click merge cells you'll see that line has disappeared so we don't get unwanted lines coming across there okay so we're going to leave this uh, snapshot that's being published here and I actually don't want my transition description so if I select this using this little handle here and then hit delete I'm going to get rid of that information being brought through and then because I don't want this dividing line here I'm going to select that area and right click if I can select that select that area then right click merge cells again to get rid of that horizontal line okay so this is starting to look quite good I'm just going to move this line up now so you can customize that table within Word a bit so I'm going to move that line up so now I should be getting my snapshot number my snapshot name and then a, a long dis uh, what snapshot description underneath that there Okay, and all of my snapshots will be brought through in that way with this template okay, from, uh, from Publisher. Okay, so let's save this now. I'm happy with this template. So if I just go to save, save that, and close it. Okay, so now back into Publisher. What I have here is I have three snapshots. And if we look at these snapshots, and show descriptions of those snapshots. You can see I've got a description and a name for each of these snapshots, okay? Uh, I'm going to add a description for the third snapshot here. I'm just going to put in here um, a nice uh, congratulatory phrase here bit of morale boosting okay so I've put my uh, description in there so if I save this publish a file now and you can see I've named each of these snapshots okay so now if I go and publish this so uh, if this isn't clear on the video uh, on the video it's in my home tab the publish uh, drop down here I can now publish to Microsoft Word so if I go and publish to Microsoft Word here then my CADLINE assembly instructions template is visible here. I'm going to publish the whole document and I'm going to just change a few options here and if I click OK there and uh, it'll ask me what I want to call it. I'm going to call it Bolt Assembly and replace the existing one and it should open up Microsoft Word for me when we're done. So you see that my, uh, my template's been brought through successfully here. Let's have a look at what the um, snapshot looks like. Okay, so here I have the snapshot number been brought through 1.1, so I can delete that out of the template if I don't want that to appear there, and the snapshot name here, and then the snapshot description has been brought through automatically. Okay, and you can see the way that I've customized this is has been brought through into the published document, and then the second snapshot will be on the second page, snapshot number, name, description, and the third snapshot here congratulations for assembling the bolts okay and this is actually up here is the name of my storyboard so if we go back into publisher you'll see that i've named my storyboard how to assemble four bolts so i can click on the document and rename the storyboard there if i like okay i hope you find this very useful thanks for listening